Okay, when you're ready, you can take the shot. Okay, I think that shot was a little bit far back. We need to hit him again. Oh, that was a clean miss. Let's go left deer. Hit him again. Perfect. Hi everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. Today I'm shooting a completely different style video. Uh, if you saw from one of my previous videos, I've made the, uh, the conscious decision to try and one day maybe acquire a firearms license. But to do that, I'm gonna have to do a lot of work, uh, a lot of courses, put in a lot of time and study and things like that. And one of the things that I'm gonna be doing today is the gun safety course that braces run here just on the outskirts of Bristol. So I'm on my way to meet James and he's gonna take me through everything that I need to know. So the course started at 10 a.m. and it was supposed to run till two. We did end up running over though. The first part of the day was inside, sat down, classroom style, learning all of the legislation and all of the safety things. James was an amazing teacher, really patient, answered all of our questions, but eventually it was time to get outside on the range. There's a gun in this bag. Um, what can we assume? In order to unbag, and before we start handling it, and I start passing it around and, and showing you, and you get a little bit more familiar with it, and we want to make sure that we, we prove that it's safe. So first thing that I've done, again, as per our uh, booklet, is we've pointed the gun in the safe possible direction. You know, well then, so then we're going to unzip and open this up and have a little look. At we're, have a little look what we're dealing with. Okay. So first thing we can do, we can just do a visual, we can just do a visual uh, look at the gun and we can kind of see, again, when you're a little bit more familiar with guns, you, you might notice a few things that you, you don't notice now. So I know there's no bolt in there, that's a good first, uh, first, first sign that the gun is safe. So if that's not in the gun, that can't set a bullet off. So even if there was a bullet in the chamber, I can't really see how it would fire because it hasn't got the bolt in there. The next thing I can see, I can see some colours here, red, white, hair, what have you. I'm going to presume that's a, the safety switch, you know, which it is. Again, you can ask, but there's a saying, we say, red is dead. Okay, so safety switches, like most things, red is warning, red is danger. This is on, okay, so if safety is on, it won't allow you to fire. But observe the chamber and verify the speed path, okay? There's nothing in the chamber. Safety's on, magazine's out. There's no magazine, in, uh, no ammo in the magazine either. I'd say that gun is pretty, pretty safe to handle. This, first of all, focus your crosshairs. Make sure they're nice and crisp, they're not blurry. Next one is the focus to your target. This is a little bit like your camera focus. Um, and then your ballistic turrets we're not going to use. Okay, your shoulder in the gun. Okay, your bolts back, your magazine with your ammo. You're going to pop your, pop your ammo in. Okay, remember, finger off the trigger. Acquire your target. Happy I'm on my target. And now I'm going to chamber around, okay? So, forward and down. We've now got a round chamber. Acquire your target again, because you've just moved the gun a little bit. I'm happy there. Okay, safety off. Back to acquire the target. In your own time, take the shot. Okay, taking the shot, I'm still, I've not popped my head up, I'm not looking around like a meerkat, I've stayed in the scope, and I'm still on the target. So okay. first of all, I want you to have a dry fire. Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to put any ammunition in the, in the gun, okay, and we're just going to go through the motion, so when you pull the trigger, it's just going to go click, okay. So first of all, can you see the target clearly, it's in focus, yeah, yeah it's all good. Yeah, happy with that. Okay. So clip goes so, in. Um, yep. So um, you can simulate that if you like. Magazine can go can go up and in. You get used to where the the button is. And the 
Drop it. Okay, now chamber around, please. So bolt forward and down. That's it, semi aggressively. Keep your eyes on the target. Safety off. Push forward. That's it. Okay. Reacquire that target and in your own time, take the shot. Okay, that's it. Good, you stayed on the target. Okay. Unload and make safe. Okay. Safety on. Drop your magazine out. Good job done. Perfect. Happy with that? Yeah. Okay, that was good. Cool. Jump around at the top. There you go. Right, so this time it'll be an anger. I'll talk you through the first one again. We'll just slow it down a little bit and be careful where that finger goes in that trigger. Every time we go through one of the stages, your finger goes back on the on the thing. Until I say, in your own time, take the shot, that's the time where your finger can go on the trigger. Okay? For every other process, um, we won't do it. So, you've acquired your target. Introduce your ammunition. Excellent. You may chamber around. Acquired the target, you can take the safety off. Finger back up on the plastic. That's it. Now, in your own time, you can take the shot. Now, I just want to point out this is the first time I have ever fired a firearms. Good shot. Perfect. Okay, bolt up and back. Unload. Make safe. Okay, magazine out. Job's good. And then it was time to just practice, practice, practice. Nice load. Okay. Yep. Perfect, perfect. So two, so yeah. you're going to take your first shot, you're going to reload, okay, so your second shot will be things and then I shall say what target to shoot at for the second time. So we've got deer on the left, deer on the right, fox, okay, it's going to be one of those, one of those three, three things. Okay, so... Deer is now broadside. You take the shot when when you're ready. Oh, okay. So just hold fire there now. So that was a a dud fire. I suspect that's a, a dodgy a dodgy round. You were saying about ah, the factory ammo earlier. Um, so we just wait thirty seconds to make sure that's not the case, and you keep it shouldered so that if the gun does go off you've still got a controlled release of that bullet. Okay, now we've got an issue where we could have potentially a, a bullet that could go off at any time. So we don't want, because the chamber is here, we don't want anybody here, because if you open that chamber, the movement of the bolt disturbs that primer, it then goes off. I want the explosion to come out this way and not over me or over you. So you're gonna be biased, which you are anyway, to your left. And when you open the bolt, you're not going to have your hand up here. You're going to have it back here. So you come up and back. So if there is an explosion, it doesn't take your hand off. Which, trust me, there isn't going to be, uh, Alex. But um, so just up and back now. We do. So nice and slowly, go up, okay, and start to bring it back, okay. There we go. But the bullet's so not gone off. That, you didn't set that up. No, no. So that's just <laughs> a that's just a dud round, um, which the primer's obviously faulty. Um, right, and it's not ignited um, the powder inside. So, but that's like a ticking time bomb now. Okay, deer's turned broadside in your own time. Take the shot. Okay, Alex, I think we may have hit it in the gut there. So. Yeah, we have. We've hit it in the gut. So, can you shoot it again, please? It'll be the fox target. Shot. 
Okay. Okay, so again, we've got these deer. They're wandering out of the woodland. Okay, just let them come, you know, 10, 15 foot off the woodland edge. Let them wander out onto the crop. Okay, here he comes. Let him settle down. He's starting to move now and turn him broadside. Okay, there he is. Okay, when you're ready, you can take the shot. Okay, I think that shot was a little bit far back. We need to hit him again, and he's going to be on the right deer. Oh, that was a clean miss. Let's go left deer. Hit him again. Perfect. So that course was absolutely brilliant. Um, initially, when I first started, bearing in mind I'm a complete novice, I've never even fired uh, a gun before. I've got a, an air rifle, but that's about it. I was sat there really nervous thinking, this is never going to happen. Like, this guy knows more than I could ever ever know and there's so much that must go through Matt's mind completely uh, instinctively as he's sort of taking the shots and things like that but actually by the end I had a little bit more confidence so it was a, a real real eye-opener there's a test at the end um, which I passed so I just want to say thank you to Dan at Braces for helping me with this um, hopefully it's a step in the right direction, but I would encourage absolutely anyone who's interested in um, in, in this to, to take the course. It's been absolutely invaluable. So thank you very much. This is where I'm going to ask for some support now. If you can give the video one of those and uh, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in food, fire, game food, shooting, all that kind of thing. And I'll see you soon for the next video.